Our reporter Xu Fangliang is now in Lushan County and we talked to her a little while ago about what is happening over there. Okay, so Fangliang, we know that Lushan was the epicenter of the quake. So what have you seen and heard since you arrived there? And on my way to Lushan, actually it's about 30 kilometers away from here, Lushan to Ya'an. And ambulance is the only vehicle which can get through the only road uh, between the two places. And that's how my cameraman and I, we came here, because we came here in an ambulance. And by around 2 p.m. this afternoon, I still saw a lot of vehicles, including trucks with uh, medical uh, facilities or uh, food, were still parking along the road. Yeah, that's what I saw. Uh, you mean parking along, along the road because there was traffic jam or you can't get through the road? That's not traffic jam because, because, uh, that's not traffic jam because they, they, are, they were not allowed to get into uh, Lushan uh, through that road because they say the ambulance car, the ambulance is the only vehicle can get here. They want to save the people first before they deliver more, uh, maybe say food or water here. Okay, I see. So, well, it's, it's getting really late. Do the people in Lushan have enough supplies to make it through another night? Um, uh, so far as I see, actually, I'm, now I'm in the very center of Lushan. Uh, so far as I see, I can't see a lot of buildings damaged or collapsed, honestly. And uh, it's not that bad. Uh, but people do tell me that they're not going, to, uh, going back to their own apartment because they're so afraid the, the buildings will just collapse on them. That's why they set up set up a lot of tents outside on the street, especially in front of those official buildings, let's say uh, maybe the China Telecom or the TV station where I'm r right now standing, or um, archive center or police station. Um, but I, I, I did see a lot of uh, milk or uh, enough bread just delivered here this afternoon uh, and lunch. As you can see, people behind me, they're, they're lining up to get their uh, supper right now. So people here won't be starved tonight. Okay. All right. Thank you, Fang Liang, for the updates. And you take, take care of yourself. Thank you. Well, that was our reporter Xu Fang Liang, who is now in Lushan.